Hey guys, today I've got a big grocery haul to share with you. I've also got a cleaning supplies haul and I'm gonna share with you my meal plan for the week. And the best part is that I had like $50 in coupons at the grocery store. Bam, let's get started. All right, so I did a high beat grocery haul today without a list. I know, cue, cue the dark. <laughs> scary music um but i saved a lot in coupons and i thought i would share it with you guys so when i first rung all of this up because yes i did self-checkout they have self-checkout now at our high v the total was 367 dollars which is a lot um however with the coupons i had i was able to get that down to 319 dollars and 98 cents which is what like about a 48 dollar savings and then also I wanted to mention Hy-Vee has their fuel saver program. So I was able to get back 79 cents per gallon, which brings me to a total of $1.34 off per gallon. So next time I get gas, I'll get a significant discount on that as well. Actually, last time Adam used my fuel saver card, he got a tank of gas in his truck for 20 cents, uh, which is crazy. So that's another way you can save money. I am popping in for a quick moment to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Audible. I am super excited excited to be working with them again here on YouTube because Audible is something I have used for I don't know how long. I feel like I've used them pretty much as long <laughs> as they've existed. And being a super busy working mom who travels a lot and is just constantly moving around and doing things, I rarely have time to sit down and read a book. It's why I love Audible so much because I really do love to read and it allows me to still be able to consume that content while I'm up and doing other things. I can also download books and listen to them on the plane when I travel. I can listen to them while I'm working or folding laundry or doing dishes. So let me tell you a little bit more about them and the exclusive deal that they have for my viewers. If you're not familiar with Audible, they are the best place to listen for whatever you're interested in. They have audiobooks, exclusive Audible originals, and also podcasts, and it's all in one place. Audible offers an incredible selection of audiobooks across every genre, from bestsellers and new releases to celebrity memoirs, mysteries and thrillers, motivation, wellness, business, and more. You'll also discover exclusive Audible originals from top celebrities and renowned experts. And as an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from their entire catalog, including the latest bestsellers and new releases. And all members also now get access to a growing selection of titles included with membership that you can listen to all you want. The selection includes audiobooks, audible originals, and podcasts, and more get added every single month. Their app makes it super easy to listen anytime, anywhere while traveling, working out, walking, doing chores. Their app is super user-friendly and I love it. And the best part is that new members can try Audible free for 30 days. And I wanted to recommend a book that I'm listening to right now called The Body Keeps the Score. It is about uh, healing of past trauma. It's something that my therapist recommended me to read. And I personally really like to use Audible to listen to all kinds of books, but I particularly like using Audible to listen to nonfiction because it's easier for me to listen to those books rather than read them in print. I have a really awesome deal for you guys. New members can try Audible free for 30 days. You can visit audible.com slash Jen Chapin, or you can text Jen Chapin to 500, 500. Once again, that's audible.com slash Jen Chapin. Make sure that you check out that link for your free Audible trial. Don't forget because you're gonna love it. All right, so I'm gonna share this hy V grocery haul with you. And then I also got a Grove order in the mail today with some cleaning supplies. So I thought I would share that. And then I'm also going to share the meal plan with you, which I may have to modify based on what I picked up at the store, but we'll figure it out. Okay. So I decided to get some Granny Smith apples. I thought maybe I would make an apple crisp. It just sounded good because it is getting to be fallish time around here. And I also have some um, vanilla ice cream in the freezer that I can use. Connor's favorite apples are the Granny Smith apples anyway. So 
I got a bag of those. I got some tomatoes. These were a little bit pricey, $9 for these tomatoes. I believe they're around three something a pound. Um, but these are grown ar around here locally, so they should be extra delicious. And I'm actually going to make some bruschetta with these tomatoes. So I got some parsley for that as well. Um, I'll share that with you guys in another video, but I'm excited to try that recipe. I also got a big head of romaine lettuce. I have a block of feta in the refrigerator that I need to get used up. And so I thought it would be good to make sort of a Greek inspired salad with that, maybe for lunch one day this week. I also got some grape tomatoes. These were on sale two for five, so not too bad. I also got some bananas. Kira requested some softer foods. Um, she just got her braces adjusted again yesterday and she's having a little bit of tooth pain. So I wanted to get some soft things for her to eat. Um, I also got some sharp cheddar cheese shredded. I think I'm going to do tacos one night this week, so that will be for that. Um, I also got some baby carrots to go with some ranch dip that I have in the refrigerator. And then also I got some hummus, which I'll share with you in a little bit. I got some garlic. Um, I need this for several different recipes. I'm actually about ready to harvest my basil out on my back deck. I can probably show that to you guys. I'll have to turn the line out. It's a little bit dark out there. Um, but I want to make a big batch of pesto and freeze some of it. So I got some garlic for that. I got some shredded iceberg lettuce. This will be for tacos. Some strawberries. I had these on sale for $4.99 for a two pound package. So I thought that was pretty good. And then I also got some blueberries. So I'll need to wash those up. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Maybe you can't. Adam is downstairs watching something on the projector in the basement and the surround sound is so so loud i don't know if you'd be able to pick that up or not but i'll try to put some background music in to, to to soften that um okay so this is the first time i've seen this this is the starbucks hazelnut coffee creamer and it's zero grams of added sugar i was very excited to see that because i've never seen sugar-free starbucks brand creamer before and it's hazelnut latte so excited to try that i also got some milk for cereal and recipes and I also use that in my lattes sometimes. Um, we needed some sour cream for taco night and I was also very excited to see that Hy-Vee now has their own brand of squeeze sour cream. So that was good. I got a couple of um, Yo Play yogurts for Connor. We'll see if he likes these still. I remember a couple years ago, he used to eat these a lot. And I was looking for something I could give him like when he has cereal for breakfast, along with that, that has a little bit of protein in it. So it would fill him up a little bit better. So I decided to get those for him. And then I thought Adam could try this. He is a person that likes fruit with his cottage cheese. I am not. I just like pepper on my cottage cheese, but he likes fruit with his. So I thought he could try this in his lunch someday this week. And then I also got some sugar-free Jello. The kids like to snack on that. I grabbed some chive and onion Philadelphia cream cheese. Um, I have some bagels left over in the freezer from when I went to Whole Foods um, a couple weeks back and I wanna get those used up. So I got some cream cheese for that. Okay, this is Mazette. Gourmet hummus, velvety smooth, zesty mixed herbs. Have you guys seen this brand before? I have never seen it before. Um, let me know if you've had this. It looks good. I love a good hummus, so I figured why not try that. It's new. And then they had, like I said, a bunch of great coupons at Hy-Vee this week. I got French onion dip. This was on sale for a dollar. Chips and dip is always something I can throw on the side of a dinner if I don't know what to have or if we have sandwiches or something like that. I also got some bologna. It's been a while since I bought bologna, but there's nothing better than a good old bologna sandwich. Am I right or am I right? Okay, I got some of this Cracker Barrel cheese for Kira. This is her favorite. She can probably eat that just fine since it's soft. And then these were on sale. You can see we ate this one tonight for dinner. So, oops, sorry about that. But <laughs> they had these Hormel uh, prepared sides for $2.50 each. And they're normally $3.77. So it was quite a significant discount. So I got one mac and cheese. Like I said, we ate that for dinner tonight along with some chicken sandwiches and some green beans. So that's gone, but I thought I would share or show it to you guys. Um, 
I'm always kind of on the fence about packaged things like this, especially mac and cheese. Cause you know, you never know when it's gonna have that like weird package taste, but this one is actually pretty good. I would recommend it. And then I also got some um, garlic mashed potatoes. I am going to use these for hot turkey sandwiches one night this week. I'll also show you guys my meal plan here in a second. Um, I think I already said that, I can't remember. I got some taco seasoning to use for, I think I'm gonna make tacos tomorrow night. This is the La Tiara taco seasoning. It's pretty good, I've had it before. I was looking for the Tasty Tacos brand, but alas, they didn't have any. Um, I also got some country gravy. So I have some sausage in the refrigerator and I have some hash browns and I have eggs. And I thought maybe I could do some like homemade breakfast meal prep uh, breakfast bowls with like hash browns, eggs, sausage, a little bit of gravy and cheese. Um, I I purchased the like Jimmy Dean ones like that before those breakfast bowls and they're really good, but it's probably a lot cheaper if I can make my own at home. These green beans were on sale three for a dollar, which is a really great price. They did have a limit of six. I only got three just cause I'm trying to get through some of the stuff in my pantry right now and I don't have a ton of room, but I don't know. My family loves canned green beans. I know they're probably not the healthiest uh, in terms of, you know, can versus frozen or whatever, but it's a veggie side and I can't, I can't keep up some nights. So I gotta have something quick and easy. Okay. So I grabbed some more um, K cup pods because it's starting to be fall time and I'm getting back into the hot coffee. So I got this Starbucks creme brulee. I thought that sounded really good. I've never had it before. And then they also had this Pete's coffee hazelnut mocha. That sounds delicious as well. I like the flavored K cups because they are flavored, but they're not sweet. And then I can add like my own half and half and I don't know, it just makes a nice sugar-free coffee situation. Um, I got some artisano bread for PB&J sandwiches for lunches. Um, this applesauce that I got from Hy-Vee was on sale for like $1.29. They had a really great coupon with that, so I got that. And then they also have been having these Go-Go Squeeze applesauces for $5.99 for a 12 pack, and I don't think that's too bad either, so I stocked up on those for lunch boxes. Um, Kira likes these and I figured she'd be able to eat them a little bit better than granola bars because of her braces. So these are the cherry nutrient bars. I got those for her. This Bertoli olive oil was on sale with a coupon for $4.99. So I got one of those for when I make my pesto. These were also on sale. They're the Wicked Minis seasoned snacking crackers. They're just like those oyster crackers, you know, that you make with like the dill and ranch mix and oil and whatever, but they had a coupon. I think they were $1.99 or something like that. So I thought we'd try those. Apple juice was also on sale for a dollar. I don't buy this very often, but sometimes when Adam does um, like brisket and ribs and stuff like that on the smoker, he'll use apple juice in his spray bottle, sort of based the meat. So I always try to buy it when it's on sale, just so we have some on hand for that. These chicken breast patties, were $3.99, which is a huge discount. Um, they had those on coupon, so I got these for a quick dinner or lunch on the weekend or something like that. I also got this for free. Um, there was a coupon in my Keto Crate box for the Real Good Foods, and these are sort of billed as low carb, but I think they're good no matter if you're doing low carb or not. This is a chicken breast with pepper jack parmesan mozzarella um, wrapped in bacon these are raw so you do have to cook them all the way from frozen but they're really good and they make a really quick dinner throw a salad on the side boom you got a quick dinner or a lunch um i got some of these for adam the jimmy dean sausage egg and cheese breakfast sandwiches those will be quick breakfast for him in the morning before work this pasta gust gustare i don't know i'm probably not saying that right mostly because i can't make out what the cursive says but whatever this brand is they had this um pasta on sale buy one get one free so for 2.99 you could pick out two pounds of pasta which i didn't think was bad and normally pasta like this i always find that it is a little bit better than like the cheaper store brand stuff so i got one spaghetti and one small shells i thought maybe i would do um an instant pot pasta with the shells but we'll see these were on sale $1.49 with a coupon. So I just got one of these cheddar potato bakes, the Stouffer's. I was actually looking for the mac and cheese, but they didn't have it. So I don't know. I always like this for like a quick lunch. 
throw a salad on the side. Boom. Got that. Um, they had the Screamin' Sicilian pizzas on sale for $5.99. That was a coupon as well. So I decided to pick up one of those. So it's good to have frozen pizza on hand for emergencies. And then I've seen these like countless times when I've gone to Hy-Vee and I've always resisted them until today. Let me know if you've tried them. I love Golden Grahams. It's my favorite kind of cereal. <laughs> I don't really eat cereal, but I thought these would be fun to have for a snack. Um, they're just little pouches and I thought they'd be good for lunch boxes as well um okay how do you say this is it uts or oots i think it's uts but i'm not sure i think this is like an east coast brand we don't really see it a whole lot here in the midwest but they had these 28 packs of like you know single size serving chips for eight dollars which i thought was a crazy price and y'all know we have to throw these in the lunch boxes. So it comes with regular potato chips, sour cream and onion, barbecue, party mix, pretzels, and cheese curls. So that'll be good. And then I also got these for lunch boxes as well. Um, this is the hy brand. It's a zero calorie, just like a flavored water. So I thought those would be a good choice instead of like Capri Sun or something like that. Um, I got some of these uh, mini wontons for Kira as well. These are the uh, BB Go chicken and vegetable dumplings. I figured she could eat those since they are soft um, on her braces. And then I got a bunch of doggy supplies. So as you know, we have two dogs now. We have Murphy and then, <laughs> and then we have Milo over there who is our new puppy and of course, you know, when you're potty training a puppy, you have to have treats on hand, which I already have some tiny ones. But uh, Murphy has been enjoying the increased treats <laughs> as well. Anyway, I picked up some things. I need to get some more stuff on auto order from um, Chewy.com, but I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. So I got some of these Cabot sweet potato cheese fries. I don't know. Basically, they're just like dried sweet potatoes. So I thought they would like that. Um, sometimes I get this fresh food when I'm out of the DIY um, homemade dog food that I make the dogs. I do like a homemade um, either chicken and rice or hamburger and potato dog food, but I'm out right now. I was just gone for a week on a work trip and then another trip and so I need to catch up but I like to get this and mix it with the dry food when I'm out of the homemade stuff this is the fresh pet it's actually refrigerated um, this one is chicken beef egg and salmon so I mostly just mix this half and half um, with dry food um, yeah but I think I have a video somewhere on when I made the homemade dog food on my channel um, the milk bones were I believe 15 percent off so I got a couple of these new treats. This one is biscuits with peanut butter and this one is with vanilla yogurt. So I needed to, I have a big treat jar over there that I need to refill. And then as far as like chewing toys, obviously if you have a puppy, you know that you need chew toys at all times. Um, so I've been getting these chicken chew fillets. Um, they last a while, which is nice because obviously puppy needs something to chew on and then these pig ears also last a while in fact I don't know if you can hear but that's what he's chewing on right now and then I got some of these um twists these rawhide twists as well um yeah so that's what I got for dog stuff slash food and then I also got some tea tree mint conditioner um Kira was out of conditioner and she requested that and then Connor wanted some more body wash so I just got the Dove deep moisture um, a big bottle of that so that should last a while so let me get my groceries put away I'll share the meal plan with you and then what I got from Grove as well okay so this is the meal plan I made for this week so I'll go through it with you guys really quick so Monday chicken strips mac and cheese and steamed broccoli um, we had actually chicken sandwiches instead of chicken strips, mac and cheese, and we had green beans instead of steamed broccoli. So I kind of stayed on track with that. Tuesday, tacos, chips and salsa, fruit salad. Should be an easy one. Wednesday, I think I want to make steaks in the sous vide because we've got some ribeyes in the freezer we need to use up. I've got a salad kit. I've also got some potatoes that I can make and maybe a pasta salad, although I'm not sure I might save that for a lunch uh, meal instead. Thursday, hot turkey sandwiches. I have a turkey breast in the freezer. I'm going to cook that in the slow cooker and let it cook all day. Make some turkey gravy, um, mashed potatoes, of course bread. You have to have that with the 
with the hot turkey sandwiches. And then we'll have veggie on the side. I'm not sure. I've got green beans in the freezer. I've got corn in the freezer. So we'll figure out something for that. Friday night, we always do pizza night. Saturday night, we're gonna go to a baseball game. So we won't have to fix dinner that night. And then Sunday, I plan something really easy since we're gonna be coming back from the game. So I have some fish fillets in the freezer I can use up. And then I'll probably make tater tots and corn or green beans with that. So some definitely some easy things this week, but to me that's more important and uh, saving my sanity than not planning anything and then eating out or ordering pizza or takeout or whatever. Okay, so I told you guys I would show you my basil plant. So this thing has gotten huge. So I got these two um, basil plants, I guess, from Whole Foods. And when I planted them, they were probably, I don't know, this tall and look how much they've grown. I'm bringing this inside for the night because even though it's not freezing outside, it is getting a little bit cold and I don't know, I just feel like I don't want it to get wilty. Um, but I definitely need to harvest some of this, which is what I plan on doing tomorrow. I'm making some of that pesto and bruschetta and whatever. Um, and then I've also got some mint over here that's not doing it super hot. <laughs> and some rosemary that seems to be doing okay. Connor planted some peppers in here, pepper seeds. I don't know if any of them have sprouted yet. I wanna try to bring this inside for the winter and see how it does. I've never done that before. Um, obviously it's the Midwest here and it gets very cold in the winter, so I can't leave it outside, but I just wonder if it would continue to grow all winter. I don't know, let me know if you guys have done that before, but this smells delicious. And now I wanna make some food, <laughs> but it's late and I need to go to bed. Okay, so let's jump into the Grove Hall. So if you're not familiar with Grove Collaborative, they are, um, it kind of reminds me of Thrive Market in a way. They were really big on YouTube with all of the cleaning channels. Like I feel like back in the day when I first started my channel, all of like the cleaning moms were ordering from Grove and I order from them sometimes. I do find that it's convenient, especially for items that I use a lot. It's not really like a subscription service because you can choose what goes in your box and you can you know pause it for as long as you like so guess what this was a surprise box <laughs> they do a really good job of emailing you and texting you ahead of time and saying hey your box is going to be shipping um but i forgot to go back in there and look at what i had so we're gonna we're gonna look in here together and see what i got okay so the first thing is a mrs myers acorn spice uh multi-surface spray which is fantastic i love this stuff and it's starting to be fall so Boom, that'll be good. Um, fresh cut grass, and this is Myers hand soap. I can always use hand soap for all the bathrooms here. I did also receive some dishwasher detergent packs, 18 of those. These actually work pretty good. I've used them before, they're lemon and eucalyptus, and they smell really good, so yeah. So I'll definitely put those to good use. I also got a lavender blossom and thyme uh, hand soap refill. I really like these because you can just use whatever hand soap, I'm hitting my cabinet, whatever hand soap container you have on hand and just refill it. Let's smell it. Ooh, that smells good. Okay, next we have some room freshener. This is the Mrs. Myers Honeysuckle scent. I really do like this as well. Some more hand soap. This is in the scent Desert Citrus and it's Method brand. Um, I, I think I've had this before if I remember correctly. I either got it from Grove or Target. Oh, that smells really good. I like the hand or the foaming hand soap too. It makes it less messy for kids. Um, we also have a dish soap refill. Uh, this is the lemon and eucalyptus scent as well. I really like this. I've had it before. Okay, this is one of my all-time favorite scents from Caldrea, which I always get from Grove. And in fact, I'm using some of this dish soap right now and it's almost gone, so this is perfect. This is the Tangelo Palm Frond. It smells so good. So I got a hand soap and a dish soap. That is great. I can always use dish soap because I feel like I go through it really fast. Carpet freshener, this will be great. This is the kind you um, sprinkle. It smells good. It's, it actually smells like a little bit like mint. Mint and lemon. 
Um, I, I use this on my carpet. You can obviously sprinkle it on there to freshen it up and vacuum it up. But I also use this on my mattresses too. Every so often when I change the sheets, I'll sprinkle this all over the mattress, let it sit for a couple hours and vacuum it up. Kind of just freshens it up. Uh, a candle, we can always use candles. This is the stargazing candle, eucalyptus, juniper, and sweet orange. Oh yeah, that smells good. I think I've had this one before too. That's the thing is if you order enough from them, they'll kind of, you know, get to know what you like <laughs> to order and they'll send you that. Uh, this is a travel size hand sanitizer gel. I can always use that in my backpack when I travel for work. Um, the walnut and cellulose scrubber sponges. I use those all the time. Oh, this is really cool as well. This is the um, e-cloth scrubber. This is called the kitchen um dynamo and I, I feel like i have one of these somewhere but i'm it's, i'm sure it's buried in my drawer um but it has like little scrubbers on it as well as the e-cloth which if you know their brand you just wet it with water and it will basically clean anything so that's awesome oh more band-aids yes we can always use more band-aids in fact someone was just asking me for band-aids the other day i think it was connor these are the welly brand Oh, those are fun colors. I like how they come in this little tin also. And then last, I got a new um, bubble up dish brush. I actually use this to scrub out my sink. I keep it on my um, the top of my sink and I use it to scrub it out. So that's what I got from Grove. If you're not familiar with them, I'll link their site down below. Like I said, I'm not affiliated or sponsored by them in any way. I just like their stuff and I like to share with you guys what I get. Okay, thank you guys for coming along with me in today's video. There is Murphy right there. The dogs are very tired. Uh, also, don't forget to check out Audible. I have that link in the description box below for your free trial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.